wake up, wake up, wake up, and welcome to another day that we didn't deserve. You guys know over here, we do not take that for granted. We do not take it lightly at all, and it is Monday, okay? It is Monday, baby, and when I tell you Mondays are so different for me, they are so different for me. I used to hate Mondays. It used to be one of the busiest days out of the week. Everybody that wanted to complain over the weekend, I came to came into it on Monday. And man, I used to watch the clock ready to go, right? Ready to go. Cannot wait for those phones to stop ringing. But you know what? I take Monday so differently now. I take Monday so differently now. Now I'm like, Lord, thank you. Thank you for another week, God, that we have in business. Lord, thank you for another week that our employees have showed up ready and willing to make it all happen. God, thank you for another opportunity to serve another customer. God, I thank you because you know what? It's not guaranteed. It is not guaranteed. So I am so, so thankful. And this morning I was thinking, Man, y'all already know my, my when my mind and my mouth get to going, <laughs> it'd be a different story over here, right? But man, I was thinking this morning and just asking the Lord, like, Lord, what is it that I need this week? What is it that I need to do this week? And one of the things that I really feel like he was saying to me is disassociate yourself, right? Evict fear, evict Lack of understanding, evict uncertainty, evict incompetence, evict all of that from your mind space and your brain space. You have to evict that from your brain space. And I'm just like, okay, all right, I disassociate yourself from it. No longer come into agreement for it. One of the things that came to mind, I had laughed at myself, y'all. I literally had to think in my head when it comes to fear, when it comes to to not feeling like I'm incompetent, not feeling like I'm, I'm up to snuff or that I compare to the biggest and the baddest and the, and the greatest of them in the same industry. In thinking that thing, I had to laugh at myself because I literally had to think in a way of, man, I have, I'm going to have to tell this thing, no hablo espanol. I do not speak your language. I do not speak your language. Right. Every time a thought comes up in my mind that you're not good enough, I don't speak your language. I don't know what you're saying to me. Right. And it has to be that serious. And when I was thinking about it in that regard, the Lord brought something to me and I thought was so cool. He brought up to me the memory and just thinking about the Tower of Babel. Right. Think about the Tower of Babel. And when the Babylonians were wanting to get on one accord, right, they spoke the same language. They were coming into agreement with one another. They had the same vision and the same goal in mind. They wanted to build this large tower that will reach the heavens. And the Lord said no. And in order to disassociate them, in order to bring um, in, in order to confuse them, in order to divert their plans. Hear me, in order to divert their plans, he confused the language. He confused the language. Sometimes in order to divert the plans of the enemy, you have to stop speaking his language. In order to divert the plans of the enemy, you have to stop speaking his language. You have to stop speaking the language of doubt. You have to stop speaking the language of fear. You have to stop speaking the language of anxiety. You have to stop speaking the language of incompetence. You have to stop speaking the language, no hablo espanol. And if you speak Spanish, then no hablo whatever it is. You do not speak the language of impossibility. You don't speak the language. You don't even know what that means. So when those thoughts come to your head, when those thoughts come to your mind, you have to disassociate yourself so far from it that you don't even understand the language. I do not understand the language of failure. Do I have some lessons learned? Absolutely. But I do not understand the lesson of failure. I don't understand the language. I do not understand the language and we have to become so serious about our mind space, the real estate of our mind space. We have to become so serious about it. And I was even thinking about myself because God had been dealing with me even this weekend, had a beautiful weekend, had a beautiful weekend. My daughter was able to be christened and dedicated to the Lord, had a beautiful weekend, but man, an attack of the mind 
heavy, not even knowing why my mind was being attacked. You have to protect the real estate of your mind. It is important. It is vital. It is crucial. A lot of you guys have been on life support when it comes to spiritually. A lot of you guys have been on life support feeling like you cannot even function. You cannot survive. Why? Because you have picked up and you have adapted to the language of the enemy. It's brought you to a standstill. It's brought you to a halt. Think about that thing. Think about that thing when it comes to disassociating yourself from the language. When you don't understand the language, how much of a, of a, of a hurdle that you create. You, some, of, some of us are making it too easy for the enemy. Some of us are making it too easy for the enemy to control our lives. Some of us are making it too easy for the enemy to come in and counteract what God is doing in our lives. Some of us are making it too easy for the enemy. Too easy. When we stop speaking the language, oh, oh he's going to try. The trials and tribulations will come. The weapon will form, but it will not prosper. And the only way that it won't prosper is if you stop speaking the language. Now in the reverse side, on the reverse side, if confusing the language disassociates, if confusing the language diverts the plans, boy, when I tell you when you want to come on one accord with Father God and the plans that he has for your life, start speaking his language. Start speaking his language. Start telling yourself and speaking the language of being a daughter of the most high king, a son of the most high king. Start speaking the language and watch you come on one accord. Watch how those things line up. Watch how, how things start moving. Well, if you want to see things moving on your behalf, start speaking the language of heaven. Glory. Glorious is the name of God, the most high. Start speaking the language. Now that thing came to my spirit today and I'm telling y'all, that's something that I want to go back. Anytime that those things come on my spirit, sometimes it's just a thought, right? Sometimes it's something that I've been in study for, but man, if that thing comes to you and it's just a thought, dive deep, dive deep. Today, I'm like, Lord, you brought that thing to me, but now let me go back and read this, Right? Story I've heard of growing up as a child, something I've read before previously, but Lord, since you brought it back to my memory, let me go and dive deep. Let me now go into your word and study that thing and pull out all the things that you would have me grasp in this season. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm telling you, go and get your blessing. You hear me? All right, as always, take what you need and go on about your business. <laughs>